Kanaka bear scat analysis. Worms, plastic, garbage, and condoms. Oh my. These were all taken at Kanaka Creek recently, Kanaka Creek Park. And uh, there's a picture with worms and plastic garbage in a scat that I found uh, quite recently. Now, schistosomes are also seen in our nearby lakes. And uh, I've collected and analyzed these as well. And these are also worms that you can catch from the uh, fecal origin. Here's the larva of the schistosome worm that causes cedar itch. So uh, these can enter through your skin just by going in the lake. Adult tapeworms such as these are from this bear. And uh, the bear feces can contain numerous tapeworms as I will show you. Uh, online you can find tapeworm general information or see your doctor or health department. But there is treatment for many of these uh, parasites. Especially tapeworms are fairly easily treated. Here's a recent bear scat at Kanaka. It's full of tapeworms, plastic wrap, and condoms. As I will show you in more detail. The largest tapeworm this one was over a foot long and there were also several dozen smaller ones uh, and I will show you a close-up of those as well but this was loaded with tapeworms so to speak and they were very much alive this one was uh, wiggling around as I was photographing it so you have to be careful. These are contagious. There's uh, arrows to many of the tapeworms. And uh, where it says worms, those are also tapeworms for the most part. But there may be other worms as well. Uh, I did not examine this actual one microscopically as it was obviously full of worms without it. So again, there's the uh, large tapeworm and many smaller ones. And wow, look at there's three condoms there. One, two, three. Like, why would a bear be eating condoms? Obviously, they were in the garbage. Someone left it out, and the bear got into it. Three condoms visible right here, plus plastic wrap, which was obviously the bear was into the garbage and was in somebody's garbage can, obviously. So it was unprotected garbage. The bear ate it, as bears will eat pretty well anything that's uh, somewhat edible. Uh, three digested condoms, proof that bears will eat almost anything. And in this case, condoms are kind of weird to think about, but true. Okay, here's an example. This is a coprolite. This is 1500 year old Viking human scat that was petrified and full of worms. So lesson one, parasites are common. So uh, you have to be aware of them, stay away from them, and you might even need treatment for them. Lesson two, watch what you eat. So uh, don't leave your garbage out, don't leave plastic out, don't uh, let your garbage be available for the bears to eat. And uh, don't leave your condoms out in the garbage for bears to eat, or at least accessible for the bears. Lesson three, don't let the animals get into your garbage. So that's what I was trying to point out by uh, securing your garbage so that they can't eat your condoms. Lesson four, don't let the bears eat your condoms. An obvious uh, interesting fact here. Uh, rather unpleasant to think about. Lesson five, stay away from animal scat and where they swim. So these animals are secreting worms as a lot of animals do, or humans that are secreting worms. Don't swim or drink the water where animals are swimming without sterilizing it, filtering it. Uh, here's what it looks like from a close-by lake full of cystitones or worms. Parasites. Medical toxicology, Gary J. Ordog, MD. Again, thank you for your kind support, especially over the years. Uh, numerous awards, thank you. 
Okay, I'm author and editor of Eleanor's Medical Toxicology, Diagnosis and Treatment of Human Poisoning. And here's our CD-ROM with the whole textbook on this CD-ROM uh, that is available. Here's the textbook cover. It's a many thousand page textbook and uh, state of the art. Medical Toxicology, Dr. Gary Ordog, Talk of the Town Award. Here's Consumers Research Council of America, Gary Ordog, America's Top Physician, 2006. Here's my old office. I'm putting up the old Medical Toxicology sign with my office name. And here's an old uh, listing. This is uh, old information. Please do not call that number. And here's the old Department of Medical Toxicology at the Mayo Hospital. And here I am as Director of Toxicology and as me personally as Medical Toxicologist. Uh, here's an old caricature of me when I used to take care of a lot of patients with gunshot wounds. And we also had a chapter in the book of critical care medicine on medical toxicology. Here's another one of my textbooks, Management of Gunshot Wounds, and uh, my caricature again. So again, thank you for all of your kind support, and yes, I'm still trying to save your life.